Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited because today I went to a kitchen place in real life and looked at potential designs for our kitchen renovation. It's so exciting. And I thought today in The Sims, we would do the kitchen renovation that's gonna happen in real life. And also just quickly, James bought electronic lighters. I didn't even know these existed. Look how creepy this is. Okay, for some reason I can't find the house or the original build um, by James and I, like, I can't even find it on my gallery. So shout out to Juniper too for also contributing to this house build. Okay, so this is essentially in The Sims, kind of what our house looks like. So the entrance is on the side, which I really like. You enter here and there's just like a door right in front of you. To the left is the lounge room. But if you go through this door, it actually takes you to our kitchen area. And currently there is so much space that's just not being utilized, which I'll show you in a little while and the kitchen is this U shape. It's really old, which is fine. It's got character and it's done a good job. Then through here, this is actually a sliding door, but through here is where our dining room is. Um, so it's kind of like a tight squeeze going through here and then where the back door is. This space is just not being utilized at all. So we're trying to utilize the space better and currently we have a table with no chairs there, just accumulating a lot of junk. And there's also this corner area where we have just like a cabinet with junk on it as well. So to make more sense of it from a bird eye view, uh, the dining room's just in here. And then the kitchen with the weird dining space is just in here. Let's just put a dining table in this room so you guys can remember that this is currently where we sit. I'll just put a couple of chairs in. Actually, you know what? The Sims actually added pretty much our exact chairs almost to the game. I think Hey Harry did the design, yeah, and this was in a base game update. But these are basically the chairs we actually have. Okay, so the really exciting thing is that we're completely going to change the orientation of the kitchen. So this table is going to be passed on to hopefully someone who likes it. And then we're gonna be getting rid of all of this. It's all going, the appliances are all going, these long cupboards are going, and whoa, the whole kitchen's going. We're just gonna bulldoze the house like this and start again. Oh my gosh, we are not doing that. Can you imagine how much that would cost? We are going to knock back this wall. Oh my gosh. And as long as it's not load bearing, meaning the infrastructure of the house isn't relying on that wall to hold it upright. So fingers crossed it isn't. We have to have a builder come and check it. And then we're even gonna take out this wall. Oh my gosh, crazy. It's gonna be like fully open like this. What? We're gonna delete these windows. What? This is so crazy. Also, we have never done a renovation before, so it's gonna be absolute chaos. Now, I did download a few items here. This is by Harry Clean Kitchen Window. That looks similar to the kind of look we want to go for in terms of our kitchen window. These other ones I think will be too big. So that gives you an idea. And then I got some custom content counters. I'm not sure which is gonna be the best one for us to use that's reflective of our design. I should shout out the creator. This is Tud's BSCO Modern Kitchen Counter. We also have the Harry Alston Kitchen Counter that we could use. This might, because we're not gonna have handles, so this is probably more the style we'll be going for. Oh, and then we've also got by PRSM David's Apartment Kitchen too that we could potentially, could potentially use. We're not gonna have wooden bench tops though. We're gonna go with stone, because we feel like it'll probably be a little bit easier to manage. Like wood, I feel like I'm gonna just, because I'm such a chaotic cook, I will just like get knives and stains through it. Um, so yeah, maybe one of these will go for. Well, we want an off-white uh, countertop, so let's just go with this one. And oh my gosh, you guys, it's gonna go across like this. I know, isn't this just crazy? And then we're gonna do something like this. We need a little bit of space here to be able to open this door. Maybe that's a better kind of representation of it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And then we're gonna have white cabinets. We're gonna do a little bit of a two-tone situation up like that. And then it's gonna get even more crazy. And then we're gonna have a big island counter like 
this? Like what? Maybe more like this style. Really will be massive looking at it in the game. This is why Sims is very handy. Actually kind of get somewhat of an idea about what you want to do with your house in real life. Not exact, but kind of. Also, I feel like this flooring isn't really reflecting our current flooring very well. Oh, well, here we go. Harry clean wooden flooring. Oh, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Okay. Shout out to Harry. Actually, I think the boards might run the other way. Whatever, you guys get the idea. And we're even talking about taking this wall all the way back so it sits flush with this cabinet, um, which in The Sims, I mean, it just looks like we should do that, right? This is why we love The Sims. Maybe this will be just a little bit further out, actually. Oh my God, this kitchen island's gonna be so big. We are going to have to do cooking streams or vlogs. By the way, if you didn't already know, I actually have a vlog channel that you can subscribe to. It's called Daily Diary. I haven't uploaded there for a while, but I'm really keen to upload more videos, especially if we're gonna be doing IRL Sims renovation, then I'll certainly be uploading it there. So feel free to subscribe if you wanna keep updated with all of this real life stuff. Okay, I actually don't think it's gonna be this big. I, I think it's gonna be more like this. Like that just, the scale's a little off in the game, but it, it will be big. And then over here, we're gonna have another little spot for stuff, which I'll tell you guys more about in a second. Uh, it's so annoying when you can't reach the custom content kitchen designs. What I do is then just turn custom content on, uh, cu custom content on, so it reshuffles it, and then I can actually access all of these icons. Just a little, a little tip. Okay. This scale's a little off too, but we'll just do two there. And these will actually be behind uh, bifold doors. Oh, do we have a visitor? Here's a little Fran Fine moment. How are you going, Franny? She's just been running around outside. Say hello to everybody. Mm, I think she can smell my smoothie down there. All right, back to the build. I know this is really weird, but I love the smell of my dogs. <laughs> like, they just smell so good. Is that weird? Or does everyone love the smell of their dogs? James is always like, that's weird. I wonder if I have a bifold door in the game that will fit this area. Obviously we have the Maxis one that's way too big. But if you don't know what a bifold door is, this is a, a bifold door that kind of opens to the outside uh, edges like that. Whoa, imagine if that was your door. Crazy. Oh, actually, I know what we can do to give you guys the idea of what this is gonna look like. We have these doors from David's apartment. We could put like this. Okay, no, 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 that's not working either. As cute as it is, I think you'll just have to remember this, this is gonna be behind doors. And the reason why we're thinking of doing that is so we can actually have a few appliances on here. It'll be a little bit wider in real life, but the biggest appliance we have and that we would like to hide is actually the coffee machine. However, James is like, we're gonna have to walk so far to get to the sink, which I think the sink would be best built into this island. Don't you guys think? And actually, let's put the regular pieces over on this side because this is all gonna be storage. I kind of like the idea of a white sink, but I have no idea if those get dirty or if they're if they're okay. I mean, I think we'd just go a brushed chrome look for tapware. And also I don't think James would like it anyway. The tapware and then maybe potentially a white sink. I don't know. We will definitely have safety, so we'll have our fire alarm. And I think what they were talking about is doing ovens built into this, which is cool, because right now we have a freestanding oven stove combo, like this kind of a thing, and we call it the glem. It is, no, we call it the glub. It is just so loud and it shakes. It's so bad, you guys. If it was a car, it would not be roadworthy. Sometimes custom content has cabinets that you can actually fit appliances into, like this one. Oh, I wonder where the fridge was gonna go. I think they recommended a fridge, like, on the edge here, maybe? Oh, that's so cool. It's like a full pantry unit. Love that. We're not gonna have this, obviously, but is this what those doors actually attach to that I was looking at before? Oh, I see. Oh, wait, well, we can do it this way, maybe. Wait, can we build it in like this? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the vibe and it will have doors. Handy, right? That looks really good. Oh yes, we can put our oven in here and I think we would go silver. They would have an oven here. James's mom even suggested getting a, a double oven that it would be worthwhile to have like two and you just stack them. 
I mean, it'll, it will all come down to cost, obviously, but do you guys have double ovens and do you recommend it? Because, we, yeah, we could stack two. I feel like in the US, people, it's a lot more common for people to have a lot more appliances in their kitchen. Like everything in the US is next level. You guys even have your little taps above your stoves, which are now starting to become a thing in Australia, but... It used to be pretty rare. I mean, what the heck are those? You guys are living in luxury. Okay, so the fridge will be here. What color fridge? I don't know about silver fridge because are they in, is stainless steel annoying to clean? We'd probably go a white fridge. David's apartment white fridge, yeah. And then the stove, stove top I call it, but I guess some of you guys might call it a hob. Uh, we'll go an electric stove because one, because uh, there's a window here. I actually don't know if we can get the gas stove in there. I'm not sure. We also have a little bit of an issue because there's actually an aircon unit behind here, which I can place in the game. Here we go. Yeah, we've got like an aircon unit. I think it's like right behind the window here. So yeah, the builder's gonna have to come and see if they can get around it or move it. I really hope this actually goes ahead because if it doesn't, I've made a whole video on it. That's gonna be kind of sad and disappointing for all of us. But let's just not worry about that right now and just have fun. And then would we have the stove in the middle? Or well, I guess in the middle, so you have room on either side. And maybe the tops of these would be white or would they? Would we go like that? What do you guys think? Would you go all white here or would you square it off like that? Or James is actually a fan of of doing wood upper cabinets and white lower cabinets. I was thinking like that style. What do you guys think? I seriously need your help with this. Please help us. I wanna see lots of comments down below with what you guys think could be a good idea. And then if that's the case, then would we have timber down here or would that all be white? And then the other thing is, would we do like a timber feature over here? There's not gonna be a gap underneath it like this. It'll it'll run all the way to the floor. But like, would we do a timber look? Like this kind of a thing that you can do? I know the bench tops don't match in the game, but just, you know, we could get a little bit of this type of thing happening. My only issue with this is it's really cool and really trendy, but trendy is the key word. Like again, it'll date. Does it matter? I don't know. I guess, I want to do the kitchen and then not have to worry about making any changes again. And then it's always just going to look nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether to do, or maybe we should actually look at it. You know, do we like the white lower, the wooden upper, or the white upper and the wooden lower? I feel like when you have white cabinets, it like makes the ceiling and the room look more spacious, whereas wooden cabinets may make it look a little like more closed in. Although I think they'd both look good to be honest. And then the other thing is if the wood is directly connected to the floor, like will it look good or will it look like too much wood? Speaking of which, this would be a good time to show you guys some of the swatches. Now, because I have lights on, the swatches are gonna look way brighter than in real life. But we have this stone top that we like and it's actually just off-white, a vanilla-esque look and it's very smooth. It doesn't really have too much texture. I'll see if I can put up a picture for you guys so you can see it a little better. We have that for the bench tops potentially. A slightly warm off-white as well for the cupboards. Cupboards bench and then we're not using actual wood because that's a lot more expensive here like a laminate wood and it's going to be a little bit again on the lighter side because our house is near the coast so there's a bit of a beach vibe a beach theme we're going with or there's this kind of an option which i think looks Really nice on camera. So I'll put a photo up of the swatches because they just won't work under this lighting. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is so cool. It looks like a window would fit here, but it's not actually gonna have that much space. Maybe the bench will actually sit more like this. Yeah, I think it's more like that. Yeah, so there's gonna be a little gap here. And I think the perfect thing to put there would be a nice plant. And if you're familiar with this channel, we love our fiddle leaf fig. So yeah, we're gonna put that there. <coughs> I've still got a cough. And then in terms of dog bowls, currently we have dog bowls here, but we don't have an automatic feeder. That could be problematic. Actually, no, yeah, our dogs don't really seem to overeat at this stage. So with the bowls, so yeah, the bowls could still be there. And then this, I actually think we should change this to a glass door because we have some beautiful windows here that get in some really nice light into this hallway. 
It's a bit of a shame that the, it's just a hallway there because it's kind of the best light that the house gets and we don't really get to use it. Although it, it is a really nice hallway. I do enjoy it and like looking down it from the lounge room. Is this a door? Oh, that's a pivot door. We'll get a humble pivot door. <laughs> the guy would be like, um, yeah, that is not practical. Cause it would swing like that. Oh my gosh, that's just so over the top. But I love it, let's do it. We love over the top. No, we want practical, nice, simple, minimal, modern. I'm not really finding a glass door that I'm vibing with. Well, that's fun. Here we go, a clean two-tower door. It would actually be nice having a timber door. There's potential. Now on this wall here, we have this big black pin board from the previous owners. They left a few of them around the house and the other ones we've taken down there's been like big holes in the wall and they were just put up to cover them probably to sell the house. So it'll be interesting to see what's behind it. James thinks there's nothing behind it. And I'm like, come on, there's gonna be something there. I think we could put just a picture up on the wall because that's probably the most cost-effective thing to do with wall space. And it would be a nice way to bring some color into the more neutral space. And another thing that's probably important to add, this room's really dark, like really, really dark. So another reason why we're doing so much white is to just brighten it up. And a dark kitchen just would be, um, it just, it'd be too dark for the space. And I don't think James or I are probably into dark kitchens anyway for our own home, even though I think they look pretty amazing in other homes. Okay, so we'll put a couple of paintings there. We'll have the dog bowls here, the sink here, plenty of room. Oh, what's gonna go on this wall? Oh yes, we can have more paintings. We could have a, a, a wagon wheel. We could have a bar, except neither James or I really drink. Oh, we could get a family bulletin board. Yes. I don't know, let me know if you have any ideas of what to put here. Sometimes to increase light in a room, you can place a mirror and it just reflects more light back and gives the illusion of more space, but I don't think we'll need a mirror there. There's also the slight chance uh, with our flooring because the flooring we have is engineered. Well, I think it's technically actual wood, a very thin crust. Crust? The top layer I think is wood, the underneath is engineered. I don't know. It looks like wood, but it's not like hard wood floors. And we've been told that often those kind of floors go out of stock after a, a few years. So we bought an extra 10 square meters of the one that we have knowing that we'd want to redo the kitchen. But I guess there's always a slight worry that there's not enough or something could go wrong or the wood's damaged while it's been stored. So there's the very slight issue that we may have to redo the flooring and the flooring won't match the rest of the house. So we'd have to do something completely different, which could look kind of weird with the dining room. Maybe it'd have to go into the dining room. Maybe it could kind of do something similar on the patio. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would just be really annoying because it would take away from a lot of the budget for the rest of the kitchen. We actually do have a blank wall piece over here. And I feel like we, ne we need another picture on that wall <laughs> too. No, we've got all these walls that I'm just like, let's put another picture up. Yay, more pictures. Oh, and then there's a big picture over on this wall. It doesn't look like that. It's actually of the ocean, but we'll put that there. Um. Okay, what else do we need in our kitchen? I know it'll look weird from the other side of the house, but just because we need to visualize this with glass all the way across. And I just go like that. And then I guess the way we would bring color into the space is through like accessories, fruit bowls, tea towels. Oh my gosh, look at all of this pantry stuff by Pierism. <gasps> we are definitely gonna do a full blown pantry in a build soon. Oh, it's, God, it's beautiful. Everyone download this pack right away. <laughs> oh, look at those jars. This is actually a really good size because you can just size them down. If you want smaller jars and then you can also have the bigger jars next to them. I don't think I'd mind that much if the coffee machine's over here away from the sink. Would that annoy you guys? I'm curious to know. I would probably have a microwave in here, dog food, maybe in one of these drawers, and then we'd have a bin built into one of these two. The fridge isn't gonna be built behind a cupboard because I've heard those get a bit annoying if they're broken and you need a repair. Or if you buy a new fridge, sometimes, well, you'd have to like take off the cupboards and then put them on again. And you're a bit more restricted. So we won't have an integrated fridge, but we'll do probably an integrated dishwasher. What other appliances do we have? Dishwasher, microwave, 
We have a blender that I guess we'll store in the... Oh my gosh, where is the pantry going to be? Wait, we don't have a pantry. Oh no. Wait, this design could be completely flawed. I have to check the plans. Oh, I've done this the wrong way around. So the fridge would actually go over on this side like that. Oh, and then the oven would go here. And then the pantry would actually be down this end. So this would be the pantry. Is it weird to have the oven right next to the fridge? Hot and cold, does that make sense? I think it would make more sense to like have the pantry next to the fridge and then the oven away. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, or would you do the pantry next to the oven and then the sink down, uh, and then the fridge down the end? Maybe we'd make all of this wood. Yeah, we have to really think about this. So it would actually be this orientation. I got it wrong. So there would be a little bit of extra space here because this is like a double hall section. And then the, the bench is aligned with this section. Um, so there's a little bit more space here. And then there would be room for bench chairs here. Doesn't translate very well in The Sims, but I think in real life there would be a bit of extra width. So it's so you can still like walk around the chairs. And I know this looks a little weird. Maybe just for the purpose of this, we should just make it rectangular. And we're not doing a waterfall edge because that's more expensive for stonework. And we're just going a little more simple. I love it. Oh, and we need a dishwasher. That doesn't seem like a lot of pantry space, does it? Like, is that gonna be enough? I'm a little concerned about our pantry space because I don't know about you guys, but I like food. And then the dishwasher was just gonna be next to the sink. Um, and we were gonna go integrated with that. But just for the purpose of this exercise, you guys can see it there. And I think that's, uh, that's it. And pendant lights? I don't know. I'm not sure if we would do that because our ceilings aren't very high. And I don't wanna have to dust it. To be honest, if I had a higher ceiling, I'd probably feel like it's worth it. Oh, I love this kitchen so much. And then over here, we were thinking instead of having an archway, if the kitchen became too noisy and we were like, okay, we really wanna be able to, you know, close off the lounge room. Or if we just wanted to have a nice feature, we could add a glass door here, which I think would actually look really nice. But I guess with this chair, you don't wanna really back into a glass door, um, but potentially we could do that if it just felt a little much. But I've got to say, I actually really like the fact we can close off a lot of these rooms. Even just with things like air conditioning and heating, it's so much more cost effective if you can just heat one room if it's zoned, um, instead of like heating it, trying to heat and cool a whole house. Puts a lot of stress on the aircon. All right, you guys. So this is, uh, this is what we're looking at. Still not sure how we're gonna go with colors here. If we would go like that, or if that looks weird. Only if it was as easy as The Sims to change after you've done it. And then the other thing is, if this is now more open plan, does it make it weird that this is all closed off? Like, do we need to just knock down all the walls now? <laughs> no, we don't, cause we can't afford that. And then with this wall here, do you just get rid of that? I feel like we need another window here now. Let's add another window. No, we can't afford that, but I want it. That would be really nice. So let's have a look at our final kitchen design. Oh my gosh, I'm totally gonna send screenshots of this to the kitchen guy and he's gonna be like, the heck is this girl doing? <laughs> okay, so you walk in here. Whoa, this is awesome. This is so much better. Okay, so we've got our nice hidey hole area in here. I mean, look, if we were really keen, we could just turn that into a pantry, but then it's like, where do you put the appliances? I guess you could store appliances like under here. Yeah, this is the kitchen, welcome. We can film this way with all this bench space. We can sit down and chat while I'm cooking, lovely. And then we've got the dining area over here. Very nice, very nice. So excited to show James this. Oh, and also outside this window, um, it's really handy because this is actually a wall that conveniently is already covered in vines. Not sure if they're very nice vines. Plants are very nice, but it means that we just, I mean, I like them, you know? I'm not a plant snob, but I like all greenery. So yeah, we've already got greenery out here, which would be so nice to look out to. This is such a dream. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for helping me with kitchen ideas. I really hope this happens. Give me any feedback you want. And of course, thank you so much to my amazing members. 
I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you're enjoying weekly bonus videos being back on track. And yeah, if you'd like to become a member, you can click the link in the description down below and get access to bonus videos each week of behind the scenes stuff that I wouldn't usually post on YouTube. And sometimes we do shell challenges and look at each other's builds or just do random stuff like organizing the office. We redid the background in the last video. I showed off some of the, the tech that I've upgraded. Uh, we have a good time. We have a good time. So thanks members. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world and I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Back, back.